We are here in St. Charles, Missouri at the trailhead to the Katy Trail. The Katy Trail is 240 miles of continuous rail trail. It makes it one of the longest in the United States. It runs from Clinton, Missouri all the way to Mockins, Missouri. It's named the Katy Trail after the Kansas, Texas, Missouri Railroad and they shortened it to Katie. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna get on a shuttle and we're gonna have them take us all the way to Clinton. They're gonna drop us off and then for the next six days we are gonna have our camping equipment and we're gonna ride along the Missouri River see what all the nature has to offer. You'll notice back here that's Lewis and Clark! Lewis and Clark actually followed this same path on their exploration to the Pacific Coast. And so we're going to provide you a little glimpse into their exposition. Expedition. Exploration. <laughs> I'm up on a Lewis and Clark campsite. <laughs> so come along with us. You'll see a little bit of nature you'll hear a little bit about history, and you'll get to see all of our different antics. I'm about to take my shirt off. As we ride our bikes along this amazing trail. So we hopped in the shuttle and we headed towards Clinton. We used the Katy Bike Rental Shuttle. It was $110 a piece for the shuttle from St. Charles to Clinton. The shuttle had drinks and they took a few restroom breaks along the way. It took about three and a half hours. Everyone was kind and friendly, got to meet some new people. And here we are at the beginning. Heidi, you want to, let's see, we got to ring the bell before we go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I Get in on the this. Bell. Ready? What's up, dude? Uh -huh. Woo! Guess that means it's time to go. Okay, so overview for today. We are going from here to Windsor where we're going to meet a friend. And then from here, or from Windsor to Boonville, Boonville to Hartsburg, Hartsburg to Herman, Herman to Defiance, Defiance, to Mockins. I'm so glad you said that. I had no idea where we were yeah, going. I, it, <laughs> if it all works out as planned. So hopefully you can stay with us until the very end and we'll see how this goes. I hope I stay with you till the very end. <laughs> it might be just me towards the end. <laughs> The Katy Trail. Woo, woo, woo! Oh yeah, it's about 90. Degrees? Yeah, 95 degrees. Humidity's down a little bit, but oh, sun is shining. Trail conditions are good. Oh man, this has been in the makings for a little while, and we're glad to be here. Oh. All right, one mile in. 239 more to go! Woo! <laughs> All right, coming up on Abra Ridge, West Fork. How do you pronounce that? Tabo Creek. Woo! What's up? Yeah, there's a creaky bridge. The trail's fast. Rolls good. It's almost, almost as good as pavement. So far, looking good. I like the shaded areas. It is really warm today. I like it. 
get some rays, a little bit of shade, just rolling along. Cows in the creek. They're hot too, out cooling off. Speaking of cooling off, we're gonna take a little breather here, fill up my water bottles. Going through water quick. Whew. How you feeling, Heidi? Great. Yeah? So Fill your good? water bottle. I'm about to take my shirt off. Whoa. <laughs> Start with the water bottle first. <laughs> Stay tuned. Cold water. Good deal. Got some more bridges coming up. Lots of bridges so far. What's this one? East Fork. Tabo Creek. That's cool. Tell them what I thought it was. Yeah, so the trail's like s super straight, like you can see for a while. I don't know, a mile back there. How do you guess? There's a golf cart coming down the trail. <laughs> I don't think that's a golf cart. <laughs> it was a bridge. <laughs> I think the sun's getting to her. <laughs> I need food. Yeah. <laughs> Time to eat. Coming down the home stretch to where we'll be staying. So we'll be checking in there and having some dinner. Oh. Cool in there. We made it to Windsor. Just gotta figure out where we're going. There it is. Katie Rock Junction. Tent camping, cabins. This is where we're staying for the night. So our friend Loretta showed up and guess what she brought with her? Hi. Her bike! So, we're going for a little cruise around. We just had some dinner, and uh, yeah, temperature's down. Feeling good. Another cast member for the show. <laughs> so, here we are, back on the Katy Trail. Not many people like to ride with us. No one has ever driven two hours to come ride with us. So, kudos to Loretta. <laughs> My pleasure. My pleasure. <laughs> Thank you for coming to visit us here in, where are we? Oh, we are Windsor. in Windsor. <laughs> Windsor, <laughs> Missouri. Loretta and her mom came from Kansas City, went on a little bike ride, and there's my Davers. And so now they're going to drive back, and we are ready to go to sleep. So, <laughs> see ya. Bye. Bye. Good sleep last night. We we're gonna take down the tent, grab some coffee, and be on the road. Off to Boonville.
day two, leaving the Katy Junction campsite. It was, it was really a great place. For 15 bucks, we got to put our tent up and the restrooms, showers were like brand new. We could put our equipment and our bikes in the garage. It was just a really great place. Walked over to Casey's, got some fantastic coffee, and they let us get ice for free. So we are starting off day two. It is our wedding anniversary. So we are gonna do 50 miles just to show that we are in this for the long run. Oh, those are little deer, huh? Baby dears. Check it out. High point elevation. High point. High point elevation, 955 feet. It's all downhill from here, baby. So this at the highest point, it's the summit of the Katy Trail State Park. Where we're standing is where the Osagi Plains. They were named after the Asaji people who were once the dominant tribe in Missouri. Back when they were here, all this was was tall grass with narrow woodlands along streams and rivers. Although, I don't see the streams and rivers right now. The big turtle. Look out. Coming through. Made it to Green Ridge. Stop and have a little snack. A little first break. How are you feeling, Heidi? Hungry? Yeah. All right. Snack time. Snack time. <laughs> We 
We made it to Sedalia. This is a place with cool trains and it's got a depot and a gift shop. I'm hoping that in the gift shop they've got some Diet Pepsi because I need one and so does my Davers. Check that out. We arrived right on time. super great signs for the back of our cars. Now it means I have to finish so that I can put it on my car. The gift shop did not have pop. So we are headed back to the, uh, there was a grocery store like just a little bit back there. So backtracking and then grabbing some Pepsis and then off to Boonville. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. And go to the bathroom. She's got to go to the bathroom. Got a little Pepsi action from the Dollar General. Now we're just cruising through the little village of Sedalia. Actually, I think the population was 35,000. So the trail kind of goes through a little neighborhood here. It's like a sidewalk. It's pretty well marked though. Yeah. Civilization. This part of the trail is, it's pretty cool. We're out of Sedalia, headed towards Boonville. Check it out. It's like an enchanted forest. It's, I don't know, it feels like we're, you only have to pedal a couple pedals and then you can coast, which I like, because I don't really want to work too hard. Uh, a little bumpy in sections, but it's really pretty, amazing and absolutely beautiful. Loving it. It's a great trail. So the last 10 miles have been like a continuous uphill. So much for the downhill. However, Dave and I are optimists and we have decided that this is not so bad because we can actually ride our bikes up these hills compared to the other hills we're used to. <laughs> get stuck push, get stuck pushing our bikes up the hills. All the hills. We push our bikes up all the hills. <laughs> yeah, time for another snack. Rolling up on Clifton City. Roll up on me. Yeah, I feel like that stretch right there was not a lot of action in there. No benches. Rolling. Yeah, I think we uh, brought enough food, enough snacks this time. <laughs> mm -hmm. There, we the, five more days. There was a time where we did not bring enough food, and we learned our lesson. And that'll never happen again. Never, never. happen again. <laughs> Four more miles. 
What do we have here? It's the makings of a tunnel. <laughs> Sure is a beautiful day. A little cooler today, I think it's 80. Still no rain. This might be the first Katy Trail trip that's documented without rain. Let's hope, fingers crossed, no rain. Okay, made it to Pilot Grove. Moving right along there, sweetie. Yay! Still gorgeous. Still a nice day. Look both ways. Clear. Gotta be getting pretty close now. Just crossing over I-70. <laughs> beep beep! Beep beep! Yo yo yo! Shouldn't be much longer, honey. <laughs> Ah, uh, I'm getting a little tired. Ooh, nice and cool in here. Oh yeah, Boneville. Boneville, been looking for you all day, <laughs> about 57 miles ago. Okay, we're staying in a hotel tonight. I don't know if we mentioned this, but today is Heidi and I's third wedding anniversary. So I splurged on a hotel. <laughs> Oh. You're such a charmer. I know, right? Okay. Now we gotta find it. We got quite the place here. A little bigger than the ones we've seen so far. Yeah, Chamber of Commerce. It's cool. Choo choo! <laughs> cool. Experience the Katy Bridge. Okay, find the hotel. There it is. There's a big dog hotel. Looks like they, yeah, a little gambling going on. It's probably why. It's probably why it was so cheap. They think we're gonna go in there and gamble. Jokes on them. We don't gamble. Hey, let's let's hit the curb here. Whoa, hitting the curb. All right. Signing off, hold on. One oh four. That's it. Day two in the books. We're gonna get something to eat, relax, see you in the morning.
good. How are you? <laughs> we are here in Boonville, Missouri to start our third day on the Katy Trail. Boonville has some excellent history. In the early 1800s, Daniel Boone, Daniel Boone's sons, Mort, Nathan and Daniel, came to the Salt Lick, which is here in Howard County, which is part of Booneville, which used to be called Boone's Lick. They called it Boone's Lick because there was a Salt Lick here. But they saw the value that this Salt Lick would have for the people that were coming west. Also, it was right on the edge of the Missouri River. Now, a little bit later, during the Civil War, this became an absolute battleground for the North and the South. It was, there was three battles fought here. And the reason that they wanted it was because of the Missouri River and it, and it eventually runs into the Mississippi. So it, it really had ways to go east and west and north and south. But ultimately, the North won the battles and the North overcame and they got to have the Missouri River. And as you guys know, they, well, they won the Civil War. We are back on the Katy Trail and we're gonna go over the Missouri River for the first time. So this is super exciting. Now we get to follow the river and man, this is just an epic, epic adventure. Beautiful. We're back on the regularly scheduled trail. It was so cool going over the bridge. I saw a big truck coming, so I did the little, hey semi driver, will you honk your horn for me? And he honked his horn. Then the guy behind him honked his horn. Then the two cars after them honked their horn. I mean, we all just had a great time there on the bridge, just smiling and everybody having a great day. But we're back to the farmland, traveling on the crushed limestone. Eee. Oops, almost lost it. Yeah, made it to New Franklin. Pretty slow today. We only have 40 miles to go for today's trip. It's going to be to Hartsburg, and we're going to camp there. There's a couple cool restaurants, so... I love food! Yeah, we haven't had breakfast yet, so we're going to have to stop and eat eventually before we get there. Hang in there with us. <laughs> That's what happens when you try to selfie and ride, huh? <laughs> Lose your phone. At least it was my phone and not my head. I'm shaking the camera. I almost fell. Got it. <laughs> Shall we proceed? Yeah, let's get the picture now. Yeah, I better get the picture. We are riding along almost, I believe, to Rockport. Rashport. We're not real sure how to say it. We'll find out. But look at this. There's a stone tunnel that we're going to go through. Whoa. A tunnel followed by a bridge. Yeah. Look at how muddy the water looks. Mm -hmm. There's Missouri over there. Lewis and Clark stopped right here at these, at those bluffs and they stayed over there. They were five miles, they camped out here. They'd come five miles from downstream. And so now this was a super memorable stop. The next to the creek, the mouth goes into the Missouri River. And it's said that there were rattlesnakes here and <laughs> 
a very large den, actually, of rattlesnakes, and they killed three of them. Just little interesting facts along the way. How do you pronounce this? Rochport. 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 We still haven't got a straight answer, but we're gonna have some lunch. Taking a little break. So dump this in there. Mm -hmm. Just dump it in. Yep, I dump them both in. Put a little chicken in with it. It's gonna be uh, good. Heidi has all the trail recipes. I know mm -hmm. my food. <laughs> While Dave feasts on macaroni and cheese and chicken, I am gonna have tuna and pretzels. Now, we add the chicken. There it is, 100 miles. Just turned. Yeah, woo! Our miles in. 140 to go. Got the Missouri River. Just following it along. Look at how great the trail is. Does not disappoint. He's trying to catch me acting illegally. No. Cruising by the bluffs. camp below these bluffs and just downstream from here across from a large island it was known as Big Mani Manitou Monitor Island it doesn't exist any longer but when they actually came up the river they had to stay really close to the shore to avoid the fast current and the boat crews often encountered uh, these trees or collapses from the side so Going on this expedition was no small feat. Word on the street, Lois and Clark camped in this cave. I don't think you're supposed to go in there. That, that little sign back there says private property. So I'm not going. Seen enough. And we respect private property. <laughs> Sometimes. Coming up on a Lois and Clark campsite. How cool is that? Right there. Heidi's waiting for me. She rides a little faster than I do. Gosh, it's so nice out today. Woo! Thanks for waiting for me. We just passed by Pierce Rock. Lewis and Clark used that on their expedition as they were going up the Missouri River. They had different landmarks. There was a surveyor that went out before them and told them about the, uh, the topograph, I think that's how you say it, of the Missouri River. And one of the points was this pierced rock and it's this bluff that is super tall and it looks pierced. Unfortunately, we couldn't get a picture of it because now there is greenery and trees that are all grown up. 
but a very important part. This is the site where Lewis and Clark stayed on June 5th, 1804. They had traveled about 12 and a half miles from Sugarloaf Rock and then they broke camp that morning and found their way here. Just hopped off the trail for a second. It's right back there. I looked to my right and I think this is the oak tree that everyone talks about, the burr oak tree. So we're gonna go check it out. It's right up there. Yeah, it's the Williamson burr oak tree. It's over 400 years old. How crazy, look at the size of that thing. Holy moly. And the trail's right there. You just, when you go across the road, right there. I looked to my right, there it was. McBain cruising right along today. Yeah, it's a nice trailhead. the Evinrude Ranch. <laughs> this reminds us of the Cadillac Ranch in Texas. Pretty cool. We're just about to Cooper's Landing and this is right off the trail. I caught, saw a couple other people checking this out so had to see it for ourselves. Pretty cool. Next stop, Cooper's Landing. Here it is. This is like a hot spot on the old Katy Trail. Pretty sure that's some tent camping over there. We thought about staying here, but didn't line up with our mileage for the day. So we're gonna check it out anyways. And keep moving on. It's pretty cool. I think they have live bands here and food truck. Hopefully they have Diet Pepsi. Think they got Diet Pepsi? I hope so. I'll probably have Coke. Probably have Coke. Well, they didn't have Pepsi, but they had Coke. Pretty refreshing. It's not the same, but it'll do. Well, Cooper's Landing, thanks for the Coke. Good vibes. Well, we dance? gotta roll. Do you wanna dance? Heidi wants to dance. <laughs> Let's find the dance stage. <laughs> I forgot my dancing shoes, but I got my dancing sandals. <laughs> Let's go. Fun fact, the keel boat that Mary Weather and Lew Lewis used to go up the Missouri River was actually built in Pittsburgh. However, the specifications were more for rivers like the Mississippi or the Ohio River, and so they had a lot of problems going up the Missouri River. I just read when we stopped at Cooper's Landing that the Missouri River 
the bottom is all sand dunes and it runs really swift. So they had many challenges as they were trying to head their way out west. You always know you're getting close to a town when you start to see walkers. Up there is a walker, so we must be getting close. I don't even, is our, uh, our place the next town or? I think so, must be getting close. This is it, Hartsburg. I'm gonna be staying right over there, I think, by the pavilion. Oh yeah, to double check. Cool. Need real food though. Must find real food. So there's the sign. Camping only. Not exactly sure where we camp though. Might have to look it up. There's a little grill back here. I bet you'll go now. I'm pretty sure it's just anywhere around this little gazebo, but better be safe than sorry. I lost Heidi already. Where she went. Well, this is a cool, small little town. Looks like we're going to the itching post. Okay, I got sandwiches. Cool, found something. Oh, there's other people here too. Excellent, oh no way, that's funny. We know these people. It's our new friends. <laughs> they don't know it yet. They don't know it yet. They were on the... Hold on. They were on the shuttle with us. We've been playing piggyback the whole way. It's cool. Yeah. Feeling better now. Huh? How you feel? Great. Great. Time to set up camp. And thank you to our friends who bought us dinner and drinks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, the ones that had their bikes right there earlier. And the pavilion has electric. Oh yeah. Plug in my stuff in. That's it for today. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning from Hardsburg. Thank you for the safe place to stay. And we are on the trail. 55 miles today to Herman. I think our first stop will be in Jefferson City. Well, North Jefferson. We are not going to go across the bridge, but we're going to see what we can check out there. Maybe have some breakfast. It's 7.30 in the morning. We are somewhat awake. Wish us luck. camped here on June 4th, 1804. There was a Frenchman explorer who told them that there was lead ore in this area. So they camped out here to find out if they could find any. 
Unfortunately, they were unable to find lead ore. So they just camped the night, they killed some deer and ate them, and then headed on down river, or up river, I guess. First stop of the day, made it. North Jefferson. Yo, Capitol building, right there. Where they do Capitol stuff. Big people stuff. Capitol stuff. It's wrong. A little better shot. All right, gotta go. Okay, so we made it to day four without any rain. And now, raindrops keep falling on my head. <laughs> uh, well, that's not too bad. Four days, no rain. Uh, we just checked the weather. It looks like 30% chance of rain for about an hour or so. So that's, that's doable. Cool you off. Yeah. Well, there goes our streak. <laughs> we didn't get a shower this morning, so. Here's your shower. I still got the same clothes on as yesterday too, so maybe it was meant to be. Oh boy. I don't know if you can hear that. Now we're in the trees, but it's coming down. Oh, oh boy. Okay, so it didn't last that long. About three minutes of rain. I'll take it. The skies are opening up a little bit. Feeling good. Do we have to count that? Yes. We have to count it. All right, we counted it. It rained. If that's all the rain we get, I think that's a win. Dave, I think if you would shower every day, we probably wouldn't get rain. <laughs> uh. <laughs> hey man, free shower, right? God provides. <laughs> made it to Tebbets. There's the Katy Trail Shelter. It's pretty popular. See a lot of people go there. Oh yeah, the bank. That's cool. Hope you can see that. Zoom in a little bit. That's cool. A lot of fair trading down here. Yeah. Neat little town. What do we got here? Yo, mystery rock. It really, standing rock. Standing it's rock. It's an isolated boulder that fell from above, but it's actually a remnant of the bluff that has resisted erosion. That's cool. Yeah, way cool. It's big. Riding along the Katy Trail, we find this standing rock. It is a rock that is just standing all alone. Legend has it that this standing rock is, is not a boulder that had fell from like way up there, but it actually 
actually is a remnant of a bluff that resisted all erosion. The rock is a fine-grained sandstone that may have formed when sand filled in a sinkhole or with other primary rock. Anyway, it's a mystery sandstone. In the Ozarks, its origin is unclear. However, it has withheld seven floods from 1903 all the way to 1993. On the rock, there are different places that you can see marks, although we're not sure which mark is which flood. But it still is quite amazing that here is this great big boulder standing that it stood here probably for thousands and thousands of years. Here we are. Portland. Let's see some see some bikes up on top of the hill. I think there's a restaurant. We going up there? It's for the restaurant. I think that's where the restaurant is. Yeah. We gotta eat. Let's try it. There it is. How, how do you say it? Holzhasser. It's okay. Sounds a little German. Let's eat. Just got to have some lunch. It was like a one woman show. The waitress was the cook, the cashier. She was absolutely everything. And that burger, I, it, it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. We're not sure if the burger was amazing because the burger was amazing <laughs> or because we were absolutely famished. Yeah, it was pretty good. We are about 15 miles from Herman and that's our next, that's our stop for the night. So we are headed to Herman. Not sure if we're gonna get a splurge for a motel, not a hotel, a motel, or stay in the campground. So stay tuned. <laughs> we were riding, riding our bikes past these amazing cornfields and wheat fields. They just go on and on as far as the eye can see. But I'm very perplexed by the cornfields here. In Pennsylvania, as a little girl, I was always told that the corn needed to be knee high by the 4th of July. But here in Missouri, the corn is like thigh high in June. Is that normal? Made it to Ryland. Got a cool baseball field, huh? Things legit. All kinds of something over there. It used to be there. Other than that, not a lot going on here. Almost to our resting point for the day. I think. Can't be much. Can't be much longer. Whoa, bumps. And we'll be calling it a day. What do you think, Heidi? Is that a... I'm ready. Is that a good thing? Ready. So we just crossed over the bridge to get from the Katy Trail into Herman. Oh yeah. 
This will work. Tight squeeze. Arm for me in there? Yeah, hold on. I'll give you some hand. Here, there's a chair in the way. Let's get the chair out of the way. Come on in. Oh, man. 65 bucks. Where are we? Okay. Herman. Herman Hotel. Nothing but the best for us. <laughs> Don't you go dine on me. <laughs> we were going to stay in the city park, but Heidi conned me into... I did not. She conned me into getting a cheap hotel. I said nothing about a hotel. <laughs> he, at lunch, was like, you know, we're going to pass the Harmon Motel on our way to the city park. Let's check it out. Yeah, here we are. I guess, uh, yeah. Is it day four? Day four in the bucks. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It is day four. Five, and we are here in Herman, Missouri at the riverfront to start our day. Last night we stayed at a very budget-friendly Herman Motel. The owners there were super kind. They were accommodating and it was really great because we were super tired after biking 60 miles. We also had to do some laundry. We only brought enough clothes for a couple of days knowing that we'd have to stop at a laundromat and the Herman Motel was right by the laundromat. So we ended up doing laundry last night. We stopped at a restaurant, which was just the next building down. And then we got to have a really great night's sleep. We're checking out Herman, which was established in 1837. It is this lovely little town. It has got all these bed and breakfast and guest houses. We are in Germantown. It's a German descent. It also is a big wine country. So if you like to drink wine, Herman is the place to be. Today we're headed out to Defiance. We are gonna go over the Missouri River, get back on the Katy Trail. We're excited for Defiance because we'll get to learn a little bit about Daniel Boone and see what else we, we can get into, really. That's what we like to do. We like to get into stuff. We like to be adventurous. I don't know, maybe we'll sing a couple songs along the way. Maybe we'll just show you whatever we've got. Come along with us for day five of the Katy Trail. On May 26th, 1804, Lewis and Clark camped on an island at the southern end here of what is now called Herman. They made it 18 miles aided by wind that gave them a rare chance. They actually got to sail on the keel boat. While they were here, they, um, Captain Merriweather Lewis issued a set of detachment orders and he divided the crew of 24 into three different messes, which contained the elite core of men who were designated by the captains to make the entire journey to the Pacific Ocean and back. What do you think, Heidi? Cornfields for days. I like corn. A little group riding above us, in front of us, I guess. It's just another beautiful morning on the trail today. Trail conditions are hard packed, feeling good, sun's out. We really did get blessed with the weather so far. And did you have breakfast? Oh yeah, you had, uh, Yogurt and, a yogurt and banana. 
have not had breakfast yet, so we will be stopping at the next stop. I'm ready for a snack. No. For, for food. Make some food and just enjoy the ride. They got the Missouri River. I probably can't see it from there, but it's beautiful. Another great day on the trail. There's the Missouri River. Looks refreshing. It's interesting though, there's no like recreational boats or paddle boarders or kayaks, nothing. Nobody out playing on the river. That's strange. Current status, we have made it to Trailar. Trailer? Trailar? Some of these names are hard to pronounce. <clears throat> Finally, it's food time. Let me show you what's on the menu. We got shells and cheese with pouch chicken. What about you, honey? What do you got? I have a wheat tortilla with banana and peanut butter. Breakfast, lunch of champions. I think there's uh, 26 more miles to go. We're gonna stop probably at Klondike and maybe, what's the other town that other people are stopping at? Augusta. Augusta. So, hang in there. We'll be uh, leaving shortly. Gotta fill our bellies and get some energy. Feeling much better after a little lunch breakfast action. So we're back on the trail, just about to hit a total of 200 miles on the total trip. Hang with me for one second. Oh yeah, 200. Woo! All right, let's keep going. The Katie caboose is right back there. We just passed it. Didn't look open though. Thought about wanting to get breakfast there, but didn't see nobody there. What's up? Tell me about Marthasville. Uh-oh. So this trail would not be possible without the support of Ted and Pat Jones. Thanks, Ted and they Pat Jones. They donated 2.2 million dollars to make it possible to acquire the MKT Railroad Corridor and then developed it into the Katy Trail State Park. So there's a financial services that bears the Jones names, Edward Jones, I bet you've heard of it, right? Financial services. And they continue to contribute to the Katy Trail so that bikers of all ages could ride their bikes on, on the rail line. Thank you. So this small house was built by the men of the Marthasville Lewis and Clark Bicentennial Committee to commemorate the stops of Lewis and Clark's expedition at Charrette Village on May 25th, 1804 and September 20th, 1806. They stopped here on their way west and then on their way back east. The village in 1804 was a frontier of westward settlement on the Missouri River. It was still that when they came back with their joyous return in 1806. Here in Marthasville is where Daniel Boone died at the age of 86 at the home of his son Nathan. He's buried in Bryan Cemetery here near Marthasville.
Just cruising through Dutzo. Saw the kickstand and the little restaurant there and met a couple uh must have been a dad and daughter maybe. Mm-hmm. Yep. The they were riding together. The daughter was six years old doing the Katie Trail. Pretty cool. Alright. Moving on. Made it to another stop. Those corn fills are incredible. They just go forever. Oh, taking a break. I think we have just a few more miles to Defiance. Heidi, how you feeling? I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to be done for the day, huh? When you think of wine, you probably think of Napa Valley in California, or you think of Oregon or Washington, or maybe even New York. But do you think of New Missouri? Uh, probably not. However, the German immigrants and later on the Italian immigrants that came here, they brought their winemaking skills right here. And Augusta is becoming what they call the Napa Valley of Missouri. So if you're looking for wine, we don't drink, but we hear that this is the best place to come if you're on the Katy Trail to enjoy a nice bottle of wine, relax, and then pick up the trail the next day. This is the hill to Klondike Park that we may not make to the top. <laughs> We're going to try it though. Made it up to the Klondike, huh? This place is cool. Look at that. Way cool. I guess if you're ever on the trail, you should definitely stop. We had a lot of people tell us to come check it out. Here we are. I think we're gonna stop right here. It's all sandy. You wanna go across the bridge? Yeah. All right, we're gonna go across the bridge. got ten dollar camping too. With Tent showers. camping with showers. Man, and a view. <laughs> it's interesting all the sand. Yeah. It's just like come out of nowhere. Well the Missouri River at the bottom is all sand. Yeah I guess that's true. Thank you. 
off to the right of the Klondike Park, there is a scenic river view and you can see uh, the Missouri River. And also it was in this area that Lewis of Lewis and Clark almost died. He fell 20 feet from one of these bluffs and he pulled out his knife, stuck it in, and he survived. How's that for a little piece of American history? <laughs> a little drama. All right, off to our final destination for the day, Defiance. Kind of suits us correctly, doesn't it? <laughs> well, Defiant. I heard there was a good pizza shop across the street from, across the trail, I guess, from the campsite. So we're First gonna- First stop, pizza. Pizza, then sleep, and then do it all over again tomorrow. Yay! Final day tomorrow. Boo! Boo! It's gone pretty quick. Okay, let's go. Madsen! Looks like there's a bunch of stuff here. Keep it moving! This is the site of the Daniel Boone Judgment Tree Memorial. Daniel Boone held court here under the judgment tree. Daniel Boone was legendary to Missouri. He came here in 1799 and settled. Prior to that, he had helped settle Kentucky. He had done all these amazing things right here in Missouri. And then his kids, as you know, they uh, discovered the Salt Lick in Boonesville. And, uh, and so there's rich Boone history here in Missouri. So we made it to Defiance. There's some good news. Yeah, we're at the good news place. Having some dinner. Right across from the restaurant is where we're gonna be camping for the night at the B... Beyond, Beyond the, the Trail. trail. <laughs> RV park. Here, I'll show you from here. Right there is where we're staying. So we're going to eat, call it a day, set up the tent. We'll see you in the morning. Currently 10 to 6 o'clock in the morning. 49 degrees. 49 degrees. And uh, yeah, this is the last day. Show you a quick tour of the campsite. There it is. We're making some coffee. Got some beautiful fields. Yeah. So we're gonna make some coffee and get out of here. Last day. How many miles for today? We're gonna go up to Mockins and then back to St. Charles. Cause that's where our car's parked. Like 44 miles. 44 miles maybe. 32 up and then 12 back. Whatever. I think. Somewhere around there. Well. See you in a minute. Miles never line up. <laughs> Talk to you soon. <laughs> Okay, whoa. 
Day six on the Katy Trail. Heidi was, she's putting her sweatshirt back on. Game plan for today, cars parked in St. Charles, which is about 20 miles away. We're gonna head to there, get rid of our gear, and then run up to Mockins. Ring the bell, and then backtrack to the car. And that'll be it. Mama sad it's over, huh? Heidi. Yes. How do you feel? Great. Okay. Just ride this, ride the whole country. <laughs> On May 23, 1804, the Corps of Discovery with Lewis and Clark stopped here just shy of Defiance. They stopped here because their keelboat had become stuck on a submerged log and the party needed about an hour to free it. So they stopped and they came to what was called Boone's Settlement. It had sprung up along here, Daniel Boone with about 30 to 40 other families. They came and they talked together, but for some reason Daniel Boone, so Daniel Boone wasn't there when they stopped at the Boone Settlement. However, there's no doubt that the captains realized that, that Daniel Boone lived here, that Private Joseph Whitehouse's journal mentions Boone, and the captain certainly knew at least as much. Daniel Boone arrived in this area in 1799 at the invitation of Spain, who had offered him a grant of land. Although Boone was 69 years old in 1804, the last Spanish governor of the Upper Louisiana, Carlos de Haut de Los, told the New American authorities that Mr. Boone is a respectable old man, just and impartial. He has already, since I appointed him, offered his resignation owing to his infirmities. I have induced him to remain in the view of my confidence in him for public good. Feeling good? My guess is we're getting pretty close to St. Charles, which will feel nice to get all these bags off our bikes. We're gonna probably get a bite to eat, use the facilities, and roll on. It won't be long. Holy smokes, honey. Made it back to the car. Woo! Okay. 12 more miles to the top. Dropping the gear off. Car's still here. That's a, that's a, that's a bonus. Okay. Bags are off. Off the Mockins. Ring the bell. Okay. Nothing was open in St. Charles. So we're going hungry, headed to the end. Woo! Look at that. So we'll be extra hungry by the time we're back and things should be open. Yes. Kicking her in gear. Going fast now. How fast? 13, 13 Woo! mile an hour. That's fast for us. Quite the junkyard over there. Grossman. Grossman. Grossman junkyard. Lots of bands. Band life. Whew. Making it. Back to the farmland. We're making it. It's kind of hard to believe that this trail, that the railroad ran on it until 1986. 1986 doesn't seem like that long ago. But there was a flood and the railroad said done. And by 1988, they had handed over the land to the Missouri State Park and then they made the Katy Trail.
lowest point elevation on the trail. What's it say? 436 feet. 436. Yeah, we would have missed it if we didn't come up here. Cool. I should go like this. Yeah, from the highest point to the lowest point. That's how it goes, right? I'm with you, babe. That's how it always goes. <laughs> Just like this. <laughs> okay. That's it, honey. One more to go. The old black walnut. One more. There it is. There it is, honey. Made it to Mockins. What do we read? And there's 260. Holy moly. Woo! 260 miles. Holy moly. Made it. From bell to bell. You got it? Woo! Feels great. Yeah. Can't believe we made it. A little surreal. It's fantastic. You know what I was really thinking about? How at the end of these trips we take these pictures we look like we've been through <laughs> war-torn, <laughs> dirty, <laughs> and glad pictures can't smell. <laughs> From bell to bell. Got it. <laughs> Thank you, Missouri, for your wonderful trail. All the friends that we met along the way. For being the show me state, you sure did show me a lot. It's been amazing, great trail. Great people, great food, great camping. So that's six days on the Katy Trail. Thanks for coming along. One last one for good measure.